Hey Geminis, and welcome to your October 2017 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And October feels to me like a really huge month of change for you guys. As you know, a lot of 2017 I think has been just a really big like year of change uh, for everybody. Um, I am shocked at how much the tower is coming up in like a lot of my readings. I feel like half of them have the tower at least in them this month. And it makes sense because October is the month that we transition into Scorpio and Scorpio is kind Kind of like the tower type of energy. Um, usually things, especially in the current paradigm, uh, which can't keep uh, stable uh, without anything that's like real, without any real kind of content or any kind of real um, strong foundation can't exist right now. Um, in the past, I feel like even leading up to the last few years, uh, things can stick around longer. Uh, old worn out systems of thought, old worn out systems of experience or ways of being have been able to sort of hold on. But now as we move into a new kind of energetic paradigm, things aren't so long lasting. Things don't um, exist in our field once they sort of outlive their purpose, uh, whether that be for them or it or us, uh, kind of abstract thought there. But it just feels very obvious to me in October that there's a lot of things being shed. There's a lot of things being purged. Um, a lot of people have kind of found themselves alone here. A lot of people have kind of broken up or disconnected from people. Of course, there are plenty who have also um, stayed in their relationships or started relationships, but there's just been a really strong theme of separation uh, that I've noticed in a lot of people that I've worked with and a lot of people that I know in life. And then definitely in these tarot readings, it seems very obvious Solitude is a really big thing for you in October, Gemini. You have a lot of cards that depict that. Actually, well, most of the cards in your spread relate to solitude. You have Four of Cups, Five of Cups, the Tower, uh, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and even Seven of Wands can be a little bit of a solitude card as well. So it's all about the relationship with yourself when you're not around other people, um, what you're experiencing when other people are not... Um, putting their sort of two cents into your experience. Um, you're definitely sort of... Um, influenced this month to not prioritize so much other people's needs or other people's wants of you. It's definitely a month where you get much more by prioritizing your needs. Um, Gemini has been a pretty uh, selfless sign lately. Your energy has really been contributing to other people and really been working for other people's needs. And October definitely sort of forces your hand uh, relating to your needs. And uh, if you're prioritizing other people's needs over yours, a lot of times those people will sort of fall out of your life or something will happen where you're no longer like satisfactory to them for some reason. And it's really like the universe's way of uh, purging them out of you because your energy can't really support a lot of um, extra people right now. Um, specifically the type of people who can't really uh, see themselves or the type of people who aren't very responsible uh, with the way that they invest their energy or their emotional dependencies in life as relating to other people, like people who have really high emotional needs and can't really give any kind of emotional, uh, what do I want to say, like emotional sustenance back to you really fall out of your life right now. And that can sort of be a painful experience. This is kind of a trauma month for Gemini. Potentially traumas can happen here. Um, really unexpected events that you sort of realize after the fact that you could see coming from a long time ago, but a lot of the time you can't really see it until it happens type of thing. Um, you guys can really tone down some of the difficult energy of this month by understanding uh, in the latter par part of September or the beginning of October, like what you can let go of before it causes a problem in your life. Um, what people do you need to create distance from? What boundaries do you need to set? Um, who doesn't fit any longer? Who feels like they're energy in your life is not natural? Like what feels forced? Things that feel forced in October don't yield beneficial outcomes for Gemini, it feels to me. Um, and because in the beginning of October, you guys have like a good start to October. Like there's some really soft energy, a lot of nice potentials coming in. So it feels to me that it will be really easy for you to sort of understand what is and isn't working so that you can sort of go through the rest of October, which can be a little bit more difficult in a more wholesome way. Um, but yes, I do want to go ahead and start looking at the week to week to understand more clearly what is happening for you guys. In the first week, you have Page of Cups, you're down by Ace of Cups reversed. This is all about vulnerability. So who's vulnerable with you, Gemini? Who are you vulnerable with? There's an issue there and that usually tends to be the case when the tower comes up i see you know nine out of ten times um the tower energy where you get a really chaotic destabilizing experience that feels very unpredictable 
usually comes from vulnerability or relationship with vulnerability. Perhaps you've been vulnerable with somebody who took advantage of that. Perhaps you can't be vulnerable with the people who demand that or maybe even deserve that from you. And it's created this kind of um, blocked energetic pattern within your experience. And now in October, it's going to start showing itself in the physical world because that's generally how energy works. Um, you have these sort of more internal battles or mechanisms that are operating within you that um, are more oriented towards small things and not like really big life-changing events. But if you deny them or you negate them, it becomes bigger and it starts to play itself out more on the outside world. For example, um, if you're in a relationship, say you're married or something, and there's a really uh, strong emphasis on miscommunication and communication is not very soft or easy, usually that will start as something very small. And the more it becomes negated, the more it can't sort of be worked on, the more universal things get thrown into the path of the marriage like that require a lot of really quick um like analytical communication. So basically things that test that whole uh, sort of archetype of miscommunication uh, will form within your life to see, you know, can it be worked on or does it need to be let go of? Because you can't sort of just live your lives with the miscommunication uh, unless you can work on it or unless you can um, change. Uh, it is a very transformative month. There can be a uh, just sorry to um, completely verge off again before I get into the week to week because it just came forward. It's a very transformative month, but almost more on the side that there's like a resistance towards transformation. I don't feel that Jim and I uh, themselves like are consciously resisting transformation, but I think people around you don't want to change um, people around you. And it's not. And that's another thing like something that could be happening to some Gemini out there. It's like you don't understand why you, other people around you aren't wanting to change. You don't understand why your significant other doesn't want to change, why your family doesn't want to change. Because it's like they even know that what they're doing is not so great. But you can't elicit changes in other people. That is another thing that really causes the tower energy to be prevalent is when you try to change other people when they're not ready. Um, even if the change very, um, like, objectively helps them and everybody can see that it's a positive change you know if you try to make it happen before it's time that causes tower energy to like hit you head on um, you can only change yourself you can't change other people uh, so and that can be hard for Gemini sometimes because Gemini doesn't get it because sometimes I think Gemini has been changed by other people or Gemini is one of those signs where you're again you're so mentally spot-on so objective so clear because you're ruled by Mercury that you can see like if there's something that needs to be changed like your mind realizes it and it like jumps on it and it starts to put it into place even if it wasn't you who initially realized it but not everybody is that way not everybody can see this as clearly as you can and what can happen is if you try to bring it to other people's attention before it's time they're uh, sort of their internal mechanisms and like their the energy that is within them will like be on guard to that and it won't want it so it will start to turn your advice regardless of how nice your advice is it will turn that into something that is like opposition or something that is um a difficult experience so basically the content of what you're saying or the uh the meat and potatoes of your ideas get completely sidelined and like the idea that you're like attacking them or the idea that you're um being the bad guy is what it all becomes about for some reason so that's a very tower type of experience as well but anyway, to jump back into the first week for you guys, Page of Cups being rooted down by Ace of Cups reversed. Um, for those of you who are single, you can start a relationship here. Um, it's some, it's good to take it slow, though. Um, it's good to kind of like dip your toes in or sort of see and test the waters. That's not bad. That feels like testing the waters really feels like what your month is in a lot of ways. But especially in the first week, you're like maybe reaching out to somebody from your past or you're seeing if things can continue the way that they are. Maybe some of you have gotten a new job and you're just sort of in testing mode. You're not sure if it's what you want. You're not sold. You're not sold on the prospects in your life right now and you're trying to understand where your path is, what your journey is. You're kind of sidelined in general. That's definitely something that jumped out to me like you're feeling like you're not quite on the path like you're on the side of the path and this, this can actually be a positive side to the tower because it will come in and if you're feeling like you're just sort of uncalibrated or you're not really um in the right place the tower will remove anything that's contributing to that the the only problem is that sometimes it's not what you think and sometimes people that feel really important to you or feel really um 
like part of your inner crew or whatever can be who are contributing to this uh, phenomenon of you being sidelined. So when those people get removed, sometimes it's hard to realize that they're part of the problem anyway. So that's why the tower is so difficult. But it's positive in the sense that it, after October, you're going to be put back onto your path. Um, and the first week is sort of, again, your opportunity to do it yourself or the opportunity to have a more smooth experience of, you know, removing what you need to remove um, and stepping back onto the path that you want. And then in the second week, it sort of starts to get a little bit heavier. Four of cups reverse or down by five of cups reverse. That is chronological. So it's a very faded time. It does feel like more calibration starts to step in during the second week um, where it you're at least even though those are not the most easy energies to deal with you're working with it and you're taking it in stride it's always good to see chronological order with tarot it says that there is some kind of like idea of order coming into your life or divine uh, integration but those are like the solitude cards of the tarot those are both very lonely um, alone feeling cards like four of cups is uh, traditional solitude where you kind of choose it for yourself five of cups is more of a forced solitude where you can't really um uh, see other people or even if you have the opportunity to be with other people it's like the people that you know you could be around aren't what you need right now and you are focusing a lot on what isn't working and that's normal in October October tends to be the month where that kind of thing starts energetically like you start to focus on the things in your life that aren't working so you can sort of rid yourself of them but I do really feel like that might not me need to be the focus of your second week of October just because five of cups is usually a sign that there's too much focus on like the negative it's generally a uh, archetype of pessimism you guys could also be surrounded by somebody like this but I do feel like the pe the pessimistic people in your life are kind of bleeding over onto you like you're sort of absorbing their ideals you're sort of starting to like be a sponge to that like maybe your opinions towards random strangers used to never really be um, bad or anything, but because you're around people who like gossip a lot or because you're around people who are um, who always talk badly about people, your mind kind of starts to work that way. And even if you're not sort of doing that, you start to see people in a new light. You have to be careful with that. Again, those are the type of people that you've got to sort of shed from your experience right now. Because in the third week, things do start to change for sure. Um, seven of Pentacles, who are down by the Empress reversed. You are, again, Seven of Pentacles is another alone card. Like you're reflecting, you are, and this is when we get into Scorpio time as well. So that's normal. Um, Scorpio is kind of a solitude oriented sign as well. So you're getting into that energy and you're really analyzing, you know, where you've been, what you've come from, and, you know, what you've chosen not to accomplish seems to be really prevalent here. There's something about like Gemini thinking about all the places that you haven't been or thinking about all of the places that you could have been, but you chose not to be. And ultimately be gaining more strength from this and realizing, wow, I'm so happy I didn't do that. I'm so happy that, you know, I didn't choose to take that trip or that I didn't get married to that person because, oh my God, where would I be now? It's not a negative thing that's happening, but you're sort of realizing like this sort of aging up moment. Like it's sort of like a leveling up process where you think all I wanted for, you know, that two years was to be married to that person. It was all that I wanted. And now I realize that had I done it, I would have been very unhappy. And it's sort of, do you know what I'm talking about? Sort of that like phenomena that you feel where it's like, you know how badly you wanted something. And then once you come out of a place of wanting it so badly and you get more experience, you realize, oh my God, if I would have gotten that, that would have been terrible. Like that would have been a horrible experience, but I would, there would have been no way for me to comprehend in that moment that it could have been bad for me that type of thing is happening to you in October. And that's actually really beautiful. I feel like that's a kind of a really common feeling, but to put words to it seems really important. And to sort of have a more conscious realization that that's happening feels very healing to you, Gemini. And, and really think about through not achieving that or through not going through with that relationship that you are sort of having in the back of your head, think about what other opportunities you have now. That's rooted down by the Empress Reverse, so it really feels like a lot of new benevolence can come from understanding what you chose not to do rather than closing more doors for yourself because sort of a problem with that can be that you... Um, think, okay, I denied myself getting married to that person, or I denied myself taking on that job. That means I need to keep denying myself because I'm never really going to be satisfied. That's not good. Like, you've got to be able to take from what you didn't do and match it with a new, like, aspiration, something that you actually let yourself do. Really work with that law of attraction sort of ideal, you know, thinking of, like, physics, thinking of every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You know, you, know, you negated something from the past, you didn't do something from the past, and now it's time to do something and allow something in now to sort of match that up. 
because once you get into the fourth week, you are kind of a new person in a way. Nine of Cups rooted down by Seven of Wands. There's a lot of luck there. Nine of Cups is the luck card. It's the... Um, new path card and i'm really happy to see that because you again you're feeling kind of sidelined you're feeling off your path and nine of cups i always say is like a gatekeeper it's like what's the password what's the key do you have the key to get onto this new path and you're sort of given that um given that 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 is given to you in october and um you can really flourish in a way that you never have moving into november and especially into 2018 but there is something here that feels like you're not sure if you want to take the commitment maybe you're not sure if you want to take on the job or you're not sure if you want to start the relationship something about you wants to prolong what hasn't worked for a while so with nine of cups you have to take the opportunity that feels lucky or that feels different. Like things that maybe you have the perfect CV for or things that feel like they have come into order in a very logical way aren't really the energy of Nine of Cups. So if you're having to make decisions, sort of the more eccentric or the more uh, luck-based opportunities usually are the more benevolent opportunities for you. Again, a lot of Geminis don't want to take risks, don't want to take chances right now because it's not worked out so well for you in the past, but that should start to change. Um, and being rooted down by Seven of Wands, you have to accept that you're on higher ground now. You have to accept that your opposition is falling. You have enough protection right now and enough, I don't know, uh, people around you who are on your side to not be worried about some of the things that you used to worry about. You've got to be careful about taking on past versions of fear or past versions of reluctance that relate to somebody that you're no longer uh, working with or somebody like the part of yourself that is no longer in the driver's seat. So you're a new person, you're having a new experience. It is a tower month for you. That's your central theme. The things that aren't working or the things that are being put together in a sloppy way or are working for the negative in the long run of your experience, Gemini will be let go of whether you choose or choose not to. So do be aware of that and it will be better if you can sort of smoothly out, um, sort of work yourself up to that. So I love you guys so much. I feel like October is going to be a different kind of month for you because it's sort of, it's not been smooth for Gemini, but it's been kind of slow in a way. Um, so it becomes quicker here and you could find yourself like really in a completely different way of being through October. So I'm wishing you guys a lot of luck with that. And um, thank you guys so much for all of your subscribes, likes, and comments. And I will be talking to you very soon. And if this reading was helpful for you guys, I really hope you'll get the chance to check out my new Patreon page. The link should be popping up in the center of your screen right now. Through Patreon, you can see my readings with no ads and also have early access to them. I also do monthly drawings for free readings and have lots of fun discussions. So if you are interested, you can be sure and check it out. If you guys would like to book a private reading with me, that link is in the description box. And um, I hope that you'll get the chance to subscribe to my YouTube channel here now if you want to keep track of the reading process and what all I am putting out. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing October and I will be seeing you in November. Bye.